Hello, and welcome to the first Block History interview. I'm here with Madeline telling us about Rosa Parks. So the first question is, why did you choose Rosa? Well, I chose Rosa because in my head I kept hearing a little voice telling me to give my point of view to the rest of the world, to preach about her in any place I could. When and where was she born? If you want to preach about someone, you should know that. Well, Rosa was born in Tuskegee, Alabama on February 4th, 1913. What was her life like growing up? Well, in 1915, at just two years old, Rosa moved with her parents, James and Leona McCauley, to Pine Level, Alabama. In that same year, her brother Sylvester McCauley was born. Shortly after, her parents separated. Four years later, Rosa was sent to jail for refusing to give up her seat to a white man. This is a shorter version of the timeline on her life, but it tells you just some key events in her life. Very interesting. What did she accomplish to receive your praise? Well, Rosa is pretty much the reason segregation stopped entirely. But even though I want to give her full credit, I can't. It would be disrespectful. She is a motivation for many feminists throughout the world. She did more than sit in a bus. She literally gave all the white people in the city a big slap to the face. The man that she refused her seat to did nothing better than her in his entire life. While he sat there feeding off the suffering of others, she stayed strong throughout her life until that day. That is a very good point. And well, you sure are worked up about this subject. So what directly made this person famous? The sentence that she received not only enraged black people, but to many surprise, the white people were angry as well. And when they showed their anger, the city took a big hit, one that still leaves a scar today. Yes. So Madeline, the final question nobody wanted me to ask, how and when did she die? Rosa's death date is October 24th, 2005. And everyone nationwide was devastated hearing the news of her death. Even without family alive to be there for her funeral, Rosa joined them that day, peacefully and softly, but not without a good fight first. Thank you for your time, Madeline. And thank you for informing us about Rosa Parks. Anything I can do to tell people about this great woman in history. And just a reminder, today is Red Nose Day. And a special thanks to our cameraman, Jack Christensen. Remember, children awareness is very important. Bye.